Today we're going to review how to do long division. So long division seems a little scary at first, but it's really not that bad. All you need to do is remember, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Some people remember this as dad, mom, sister, and brother, but I don't really like how that sounds. It's not very exciting to me. So I like to remember it as dead monkeys smell bad. Blech. Remembering this acronym will help you to remember that in every division question, first you divide, then multiply, then subtract, and bring down. Let's try. So today we're going to use that technique to divide 567 by 4. So remember, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. So let's test it out. The first thing that we want to do is think about how many times can 4 go into 5. So we know that 4 times 1 is 4. So we divide. 5 divided by 4 equals 1. And then we multiply. 1 times 4 equals 4. Then we subtract. 5 minus 4 equals 1. And then we bring down. The next question is to think about how many times can 4 go into 16? So again, we're back to divide. 16 divided by 4. If we count our fourths times tables, 4, 8, 12, 16. That tells us it's 4 times. Then we multiply. 4 times 4 equals 16. Then we subtract, and we get 0. And then we bring down the next number. Do it again. So divide. 7 divided by 4 is 1. 1 times 4 equals 4. Subtract. 7 minus 4 equals 3. And we can see that there's nothing left to bring down, so we know that 3 must be our remainder. So this is how you can use divide, multiply, subtract, bring down to solve a division question. Now let's try this technique with a longer question. Again, we're going to remember divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Let's try. First, 9 divided by 7. We know that 9 is pretty close to 7, so that's only going to be 1. Then we multiply. 1 times 7 equals 7. Then we subtract. 9 minus 7 equals 2. Then we bring down. Do it again. When we think how many times can 7 go into 28, we can multiply 7, 14, 21, 28. So we know that 7 times 4 equals 28, and that's our multiplication step. Then we subtract 28 minus 28 is 0, and bring down. Do it again. Now we do 7 divided by 7. We know that 7 times 1 equals 7, so we multiply, subtract, 7 minus 7 is 0, and bring down, and then we start over. When we try to do 6 divided by 7, we know that 6 is too small. If we have 6 candies and want to share them between 7 friends, we know that each person will not be able to receive a candy. So 6 divided by 7 equals 0, 0 times 7 equals 0, Subtract, 6 minus 0 is still 6, and bring down. Do it again! Now we think of the 7 times tables again and try to determine which is closest to 65 without going over. So we divide by thinking of the 7 times tables. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63. So 7 times 9 is 63. That's the closest we can get to 65 without going over. Then subtract 65 minus 63 equals 2 and bring down our final number. One more time! Again we're going to think of our 7 times tables. If it's helpful to you, you can also write down the 7 times tables or whichever divisor you're using on the side of your page. So in this case 7, 14, 21, and we know that we can't add another 7 without going over. 
So that would be 7 times 3 equals 21. Then we subtract. And there are no numbers left to bring down, so we know that the remainder of this question is 3. So now you know how to use divide, multiply, subtract, bring down to solve any division question. This will work for any long division question, no matter how many numbers you have. Good luck!